siempre. Eso siempre. Ludo raising from the small with king nine. Teos finds ace nine suited in the big blind, of course, will call. Nice. Uh, well, what a flop. Ace nine three, Mateos top two, Ludo's second pair, king kicker. Interesting, he did elect to raise from the small. Oh, he will bet with a hand as strong as second pair nut kicker. And Mateus could go one of two ways here. A raise here would put Ludo in a very tough spot with a lot of the hands he'd like to continue with. And that's what he will do. 83,000 the bet. Ludo flicks in one of those blue chips with 100,000 and makes the call. 250k in the pot heading to the turn. Little does Ludo know. Oh, and that is a disastrous card for Ludo. His hand looks all the more stronger. In fact, he's drawing dead, John. Yeah. Pre-flop, has it uncooled? Ludo see about the flop got raised by Mateus. Ludo called. And Adrian's got such a rep. Yeah. For being Once aggressive, that. Uh, Ludo may well have to call this. Yeah, certainly can't fold this street. The question is what mm. to do on the river, depending how big the bed is. What's he got behind? He's got 887. The blocks would consist of diamonds. So I have like 4 5. River off suit four, not a card that's going to make it any easier for Ludo to fold. He has 720 back, Adrian 510, the pot 588. You would imagine the bet will be all in. I think by the river it's a lot harder for Mateus to be bluffing, John. Ludo with just a nine. I think with an ace, you'd have to say it's a call. Cool. Really hard. When Ludo can have an ace. It's only they do. I've noticed them doing this a lot with their, using their time bank chips as a strategically. Well, I think what Mateus is trying to work out what he would do here with his bluffs. Yeah. And then once it obviously the. Uh, you want to do the same thing with both, so that includes taking a bit of time. Yeah. All in. All in. And Ludo is praying to hear the word check. Steady hears the words all in. Now he's got a big decision. Against a lot of players, he'd probably fold straight away. Yeah. But I think against Adrian Mateos, he's going to. I think he'll piece together a fold here. I just Ludo can call with all his aces. It gets the river with. I think he hands he can fold. You know, a nine. Remember, that's the face of a man who is trying to look <laughs> like he's bluffing. <laughs> but I, but as, as you say, you know, it's Mateus. His reputation is so uh, so well known, so aggressive that. So. 
I want to scream, lay it down, but <laughs> I can't. I have to be impartial. <laughs> lay it down, son. <laughs> anyway, it's half an hour ago, so they wouldn't <laughs> be able to. He wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway. All right, so you're gonna take his time over this one, as you understand. Thing is, it's, it's an absolute nut hand like he's got, or it's nothing. That's the thing. And we're on the stream. L Ludo's quite big into his sort of live tells and timing tells and all that. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's played into his, uh, his process any that Mateus did use that time chip before. Ooh. Close. And some psychological part of this as well, John, when you are burning time chips in these spots, you feel like you don't want to waste them by folding. Definitely heard players say that before. I think I'd call here against Mate uh, Adrian, personally. What's he got left behind? 719. Oh, good oh. fold. Good, good fold, fold, Ludo. Well escaped. Good. Watch it back, mate. Watch it back. You'll see that you made a great fold. <laughs> 